I've already shuffled and we'll be going through the present time how your person is seeing you how you see them then we'll talk about why it's happening so Scorpio for the present time we have the three of swords and it's paired with the seven of wands now the three of swords when this card shows up in your reading there's some type of sorrow sadness that's undeniable but what's on the other side is enhanced understanding and joy so there's two sides to this but you'll need to allow yourself to fully experience any sorrow sadness pain that comes up in the month of April so that you can move past it this card also it can point to maybe some deep personal or deep emotional issues that need to be addressed before you can move on just know that if you deny pain it does not make it go away so once again make sure you allow yourself to experience any pain sadness that comes up now but don't wallow in it you do not and should not wallow in grief sadness sorrow for long periods of time i say that because if you do sometimes you can get stuck there thinking that's how that's just the new you that's just a new day so don't stay there for long periods of time however scorpios you're the only one who can decide how long is long enough and others will not be able to do this for you so three of swords is with the seven of wands now the seven of wands this is showing up in your reading it's about finding well you could likely to find that like in any sort of competitive situation that you're going to come out on top things they'll be going really well for you and things should be moving along your project should be moving should be doing well any type of projects or jobs all those things should be just moving right along but you still could have some regular moments of self-doubt unfortunately but this would be the time to feel any fear and just do it anyway also, don't hesitate to make where you stand clear to people. And I say this because your thinking is going to be clear and you're likely to help someone out by spelling things out for them. This card it points towards being independent and thinking for yourself. So basically, for the present time, like I said, there's some type of sadness you're going to experience I don't know if you're have some emotional issues something happened that causes you some sorrow or maybe you're just going through a bit of depression a lot of people are feeling really sad uh, lately because of all the things that are going on with this virus uh, so that, that could have something to do with it but with the seven of wands there it's saying just uh feel the fear feel the sadness and just keep pushing it along because you're going to come out on top you'll come you'll come up you'll stand above this you'll rise above it so just make sure that you don't deny the pain or sadness just accept it acknowledge it but don't stay there for long periods of time uh, and like I said, the Seven of Wands is a very good card to get in a reading because it's saying that um, once you push through this and just not stay there, try not to stay there for long periods of time, get help if you need, and you'll be standing tall and you'll be coming out on top. Yeah, so just feel the fear, the feel the sadness and um, push through it anyway. Because you're going to be triumphant. And that's how he looks right there in this picture. Holding his wand, standing tall and strong. So he went through something and now he's, he's, um, he's on top of it all. He's got it all pulled together. So 
that's what we got for the present time for you. And just keep in mind, that's for the first half of April. It's not for the whole month, so. And you just have the blues for a little while, first two weeks of April. And then it looks like things just turn around for you. Now let's take a look at your person, how they see you. They see you as a Seven of Cups, and they also see you as a Nine of Pentacles. Now, the Seven of Cups, it indicates confusion. It points to disorganization and having too much going on. There's, there's a need to narrow your focus. And you're probably trying to do too much and doing most of it not very well. So it's about choosing just a few things that are on your plate and working through them one by one. You could be feeling overwhelmed. Just remember that you can control, at least in some areas, how much you're trying to take on. So this is how they see you. One of the ways that they see you as the Seven of Cups. You're trying to do too much or maybe you've got too many options. So they see you as needing to narrow your focus. Yeah, are you, I don't know, are you juggling? But that's how they see you. And they also see you as this Nine of Pentacles. Now the Nine of Pentacles is one of the most uplifting and encouraging cards in the tarot. This can mean that your finance, any, if you had any financial worries, they're over. They're going to be over for a while. And things overall are going to be better than you thought possible. So make sure you enjoy this good energy and share your wealth and happiness with others. So, like I said, they see you as the Seven of Cups and this Nine of Pentacles. So they see you as having too many options. Like I said, you need to narrow that. Bring that down to maybe just you and them. That's how they see you. But with the Nine of Pentacles here, they see you as someone that they can enjoy the finer things in life with. Maybe they, maybe you're real gracious. Um, they see this connection as probably rising to new heights of intimacy and joy. And that's what the Nine of Pentacles indicates so it's about uh, any worries being over for a while and enjoying life so that's how they see you Scorpio let's take a look at how you see them now you see them as seven of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. Now the Seven of Pentacles, it's a beautiful card. If you can see it, this lady is watering a plant. It's really tall, the leaves are dark green, and she's taking care of it. She wants it to, to continue to grow. She wants to nurture it. And this is how you see your person. Seven of Pentacles is about returns on investments, this can be a bank account returning money to you or figuratively, such as investments of time and effort and energy that you put into a relationship. At this time, you'll be reaping what you have sown. This is very positive. So you'll be feeling more secure than you have in a while, and things will be moving along pretty good. You'll be hopeful about the future with a really good cause. So you may have to decide whether to put your energy into things, people, situations that you already are involved with or whether to spend energy trying to bring more into your life. So you see your person as the Seven of Pentacles. You see them really wanting to make this connection work. And it's with the Eight of Wands. Now the Eight of Wands is about Things being up in the air. As you can see these wands, they're up in the air. They don't look like they're coming down anytime soon. They're not turning around. They're going upwards at an angle. So things are up in the air. 
you could start to feel frustrated and tired of waiting. This card is an indicator that you have to be patient a while longer. You've probably done all that you can. Now decisions must be made by other people. So when this card appears, there's really nothing you can do to get things to move faster. So don't try to force things, because if you do, it will backfire on you. Sometimes our actions, they're all under risk, and all you can do is just put your best out there, then wait. You put your best out there, and once again, you just gotta wait. So, this is also how you see them. You could see them as having some important info, information, some important discussion that's moving fast, but it's just it's something, maybe some important, something important, put it that way, is moving fast. So maybe something they want to do with you, but it's just not actually happening. It's in process, but it's just, it's just not coming to life yet, and it's frustrating. And this is how you see them. But you know that they want this connection with you to work, but it, something is something in this connection is just not happening fast enough. But with the Seven of Pentacles, you know that they, they want this. You know that they want you. But maybe you're looking for a more committed relationship, and it's just not becoming more committed fast enough. It could be something like that. But you know what it is. Something's going on that's in the process maybe or being talked about, but it's just not actually happening. But the good thing is that you know that they, they want this to work. And that's how you see them, Scorpio. Let's take a look at why it's happening. It's happening due to the Eight of Pentacles and the Sun card. Now, the Eight of Pentacles is about necessary efforts. You will have a lot on your plate that you need to get accomplished. It's about being dedicated to the task. Now, if you let it work for its own sake, that can be counterproductive. So, it's about being clear on what you're trying to accomplish and strive for balance. No one should work all the time. The Eight of Pentacles can indicate a very hard work period. I don't know if you can see this picture, but this man, he's working. Uh, it looks like it was daytime or late afternoon. Now it's turning dark and it's pouring down with rain and he's still working. It doesn't look like he has any intentions to stop in this picture. So that explains the Eight of Pentacles, a very hard work period. This doesn't have to be a negative thing, but you have to be prepared for it. When the Eight of Pentacles talks about love and relationships, your workload or that of your person, your partner's workload could be interfering with the relationship. So it's about making time and space for the connection, regardless of the jobs. Otherwise, it could suffer. So, the Eight of Pentacles is one of the reasons why it's happening. Uh, someone is very passionate and motivated and inspired to keep this connection going. They want to master it. And underneath everything, they enjoy this connection. So... Like I said, that's one of the reasons why it's happening. Happening, and the other reason is because of the sun, the sun card. Uh, you're likely to be doing really well when you get the sun card. However, even though your finances are in good shape, that doesn't mean that you should lose focus on what's truly important. And money is probably not high on the list for some of you Scorpios. I know a lot of you it is, 
but um, this would be a good time with the sun card it's a good time to socialize but these days how do you do that when you're supposed to what do they call it social distance six feet apart so maybe socialize in some other way online uh, it's about meeting new people this sun card so if you're looking for a new job this card signifies it's right around the corner if you're in a committed relationship both you and your lover may be in need of some space that's what the sun card means in a relationship uh, because it says this is not a time to be clingy whiny or needy so that explains the sun card and it also explains why it's happening so someone has a lot of passion motiv motivation they're inspired about this connection they want to master it with the eight of pentacles and also someone uh, sees you as their bright and happy times they you make them feel really happy scorpio you add sunshine to their life so this is a good thing why it's happening so basically for the present time there's some sadness uh, this is this is with you scorpio i'm picking up for the first half of april you might have a little blues like we all do these days with this uh, virus going on and um but you can have some sadness for some other reason uh we may be done with this by that time done with this virus so who knows what you'll be experiencing some sadness for but you come out on top right away you don't stay there for long and then your person sees you as having a lot of options i don't know are you juggling do you have too many choices scorpio because that's how they see you and you see them as wanting this this connection to really work they're taking care of it they want to nurture it but there's something that uh you see them as wanting something to happen faster and then we have this why it's happening is because uh, maybe someone's spending too much time trying to work or either they just have a, a lot of passion for this connection and uh, they're motivated to keep it going and they see you as their sunshine you add a lot of happy to their life so that's what i have for you for april scorpio i hope you enjoyed the reading i'll put a link below on the extended where i'll go over how you both feel about the situation what's in the near future for the two of you how you see yourself best case scenario and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I hope 2020 is going well for you. And I also hope that you have a great day. Once again, thank you so much for watching.